Hey guys, this is Bennett with the Worship Resource. Today we're looking at the Nord Stage model and how to build your staple worship sounds out of this keyboard. Hope you enjoy it. So to build that worship sound that you're looking for, you need to start with a solid sounding piano. Today we're gonna to be using all of Nord's stock sounds. So if you come here to their piano engine, it's this section right here. This button right here will take you through the piano types. So you can cycle through them, and then this button will take you through the different models of those pianos. So I would recommend going through and trying to find one that you really like the sound of. I love the grand piano sections and then the second model in there, and it sounds like this. Once you've found a sound that you're happy with, the next thing that we need to talk about is compression. Now compression pretty much takes the big sounds and makes them quieter and it takes the little sounds and makes them louder and it makes for a really consistent output. Now on every Nord, the compressor is up here on the top right. So I'm gonna play a little bit without it and then I'll kick it on for you to hear the difference. Now I'll kick on the compression. I found that keeping my compressor around seven or eight works best for me. The next thing that we're gonna talk about is reverb. Now reverb is a necessary component when we're talking about worship music to get the sound that you're looking for. Now if you come to the right side of your keyboard in the effects section, that is where you find your reverb knob. I'm gonna play a little without it and then a little with so you can hear the difference. Kick it on. Now the knob over here will change the intensity of it. It'll take you from a, a really wet signal to a really dry signal. And this button right here will cycle through all the different types of reverbs. So play around with it and try to find a sound that you like. Now that we have a good sounding piano, we need to make a good sounding pad. Now to do that, you go over here to the synth engine, and uh, to do that, you just hit this button right here, and it'll turn on. Um, and what I like to do is go through Nord samples. So if you go here onto sample, and then cycle through, it has a bunch of different sounds you can choose from. I like using 47, it's kind of a string based pad. And so when you load that in, it'll probably sound like this. And that sounds terrible, it sounds nothing like a pad. So really the game changer when it comes to making pads on a Nord um, is this frequency knob right here. And you'll notice as I play, that it starts to sound more like a pad that you're used to. And it starts to sound really good. So when you dial that back and cut out all the high frequencies, it sounds like a pad that's really, really rich and full. Now if the song starts to get a little bigger and a little more aggressive, you can uh, kick this thing up a little bit and give it just a little more grit to fit in with the mix a little bit better. But that's really all you need to know to make a basic pad. Now that we've made a good sounding piano and a good sounding pad, I'm gonna put the two together and let you guys hear what it sounds like. And that is all you need to know to make a great sounding piano and a great sounding pad out of your Nord. We hope you enjoyed it.